Number 15. This is 1949 S. Roosevelt Army, M67 plus condition with full bands, attractively tone high end gem. So 1949 S. Dime has the second lowest mintage for Roosevelt Times of all dates and mints during the Silver Series, and it was immediately targeted by speculators for hoarding. Their efforts were moderately successful, and the supply of mint state coins is adequate to the demand. The huge certified population, even in higher grades, reflects a continued interest in the premium issue. This gem was sold for $1020. Number 14, here is 1949 Lincoln Sentinel MS67 plus red condition, top grade registry candidate. This spot free super gem red 1949 Lincoln Sentinel ranks as one of the finest pieces certified in red category. I appeal is excellent. It was sold for $1980 on July 21st, 2023. Number 13, this is 1909 SBDB Lincoln Sent in MS64 red and brown condition, an eminently collectible example of this popular first year and one year type coin. Glowing mint red color is overlaid by just the slightest hint of chestnut brown. The devices are sharply defined and problem free, complementing pleasant satin mint luster, sold on July 21st, 2023 for $3,600. Number 12, here is rare 1949 S Franklin half dollar in MS68 condition. The 1949 S Franklin half dollar claims a relatively small mintage of 3.7 million pieces and the issue is prime condition rarity in grades above MS67 with or without full bell lines. Most mid state examples show subdued mid set toning. But serious specialist Rick Tomaska notes attractive multicolored pieces are extremely scarce and rarely encountered. It ended up selling for $3,720. Number 11, 1915 Lincoln Sentinel PR65 red and brown condition. According to Heritage Auctions website, this is a fully struck, mud proof with luminous original surfaces. Chestnut brown, orange, and green hues adorn each side with only a few microscopic flecks visible beneath the loop. The 1915 boasts a small mintage of 1150 pieces, the second lowest mintage among the proof Lincoln Sands. It was sold on July 21, 2023 for $3,840. Number 10, 1916 Mercury Dial in extremely fine 40 condition. This first year key is typically only seen in well circulated grades with occasional mint state piece appearing at auction. Extremely fine and, and about uncirculated representatives are seldom offered. This piece shows just slight wear with natural pewter gray and golden hues over each side. The mint mark is clear and the central devices are well defined. It ended up selling for $5,880. Number 9, this is 1946 S. Washington Quarter in MS68 condition. Approaching perfection, this tantalizing smooth 46 S. Quarter does not reveal so much as a single trivial detraction. Potent frosty luster is very much in evidence, however, the beautiful toning in orange, gold, royal purple, and silver rose colors is simply exquisite a high grade example that ended up selling for seven thousand and two hundred dollars number eight here is two thousand p sacajavi dollar with rare mint error so-called wounded eagle variety graded in mint state 68 by pcgs massive digoge pierces the eagles midsection of this interesting cherry pickers guide variety this is one of the top examples certified and only the second MS68 offered at Heritage. Each side is nearly flawless with bright lemon gold color and cartful luster. It was sold for $7,200. Number 7, 1917S Lincoln Sentinel MS65 plus red condition. 
Outstanding preservation and eye appeal for this conditionally challenging issue. Dressed in a vivid rose orange mint color, both sides are further adorned with full satin luster, sharply to fully struck throughout with an impressively smooth appearance that would please even the most discerning collectors. According to Stackspower's website, the 1917S is scarce at lower mid state levels and rare with quality shown here. Number 6, 1924 Lincoln Sentinel 67 red condition, an enchanting piece with delightful golden red color and shimmering mint frost highlights, flawlessly clean surfaces. It was sold for $9,400. Number 5, here is 1922 Nordi Lincoln Cent in AU58 condition. Diaper 2 denotes a strong reverse variety for the 1922 Nordi Cent, which is the most sought after variation of the guidebook variety. The no descent is a major rarity in red or red and brown condition, leaving most collectors to seek attractive brown coins, such as current CC example. The reverse is sharp as the die pair 2 designation requires, while the obverse shows the diagnostic die weakness. Number 4, this is 2000 P. Sakajavi dollars struck on a sand planchette graded in MS67 red condition by NGC. The dollar strike is flush with the upper obverse and lower reverse borders, and all major design elements are at least partially discernible except for the legend United States of America on the reverse, which is mostly off the planchette, set in a bright pinkish red surfaces with razor sharp detail to all features that are present. It was sold for $22,800. Number 3, here is 1954S Jefferson Nicola Nama 66 condition with full steps. A very rare date with a full steps designation, where well struck, all of Monticello's steps are fully separated and defined. Likewise, all other details of Jefferson's below home are crisply rendered. As expected for a very high grade coin, the surfaces are boldly lustrous with only few microscopic marks. It was sold for $30,550. Number 2, this is 1943 Lincoln sent over struck on a 1943 Mercury Dimes. This intriguing and rare double denomination error is ranked number 39. In popular reference, 100 greatest US error coins. Portions of all four digits since the date of for the Mercury Dime are discernible within the lower portion of the right wheat ear. It was sold for $33,600. And the number one here is Vivid Litton 1932 S Washington Quarter in Mid State 66. The 1932 S quarter has the honor of being the lowest mintage circulating issue of this coin era. According to NGC, the number coined is fairly close to the mintage of 1932 D quarters as neither coin was needed in commerce at that time. The mint struck just enough to provide collectors with three mint sets plus an additional quantity to foil speculators. It was sold at the time that 400,000 coins was minted that could never become rare. But rapid expansion of the coin collecting hobby after the mid-1930s soon prompted the hoarding of both 1932D and 1932S quarters in all grades. This true rarity was bargained for $32,625. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow collectors, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. See you in the next episode.